Yeah, but we start things off with Dave McCann. He's in Provo with some breaking news tonight. And Dave, BYU just announcing it is taking action against students who do not follow the rules. Well, Mike, they're not messing around. They just announced 15 students have been disciplined for violating the campus's COVID restrictions. And they are encouraging students to follow the guidelines or they could be removed from school. They're also applauding most of the students who are. Here's why everyone is concerned with these new numbers. Uh, Utah County makes up 20% of the state's population. But according to the Department of Health, nearly 40% of new cases are coming from down here. The state reporting over 560 new cases today, the fourth day in a row over 500. And most of those getting sick, or at least testing positive, uh, and at least in Utah County, are among 14 to 24 year olds. We're talking high school students, young adults that may attend BYU or Utah Valley universities. Dr. Angela Dunn pointing out that schools themselves have taken solid prevention measures on their campuses, but they need help from their students to act responsibly while off campus, pointing out that what students do off campus has a direct impact on the school's ability to safely operate their campus. Also reminding folks to social distance, wear masks, don't go to school or to meetings or to the store or anywhere if you're sick. Now, here's the deal that makes it tough down here. Outside my window, I can see BYU and Utah Valley and the distance between, Mike, 70,000 college students. They're all trying to be hip, happen and cool, make friends, live the dream, have this college experience. But both universities are pleading with those students, obey the COVID rules so that they eventually don't have to. Let's get it under control and eventually we get it out of here with a vaccine and move forward and then maybe normal college life can come back. But until then, it's follow these rules or you may just get bounced from school altogether. Big concern down here in Utah County. I'm Dave McKen. Mike, back to you. Yeah, you can see it doesn't take much for those numbers to change. Dave, thank you.